So today, what we're going to do is a Gavin Lux career sim. I think he got called up the 1st or 2nd of September. Off to a little bit of a slow start, but I think the guy has the tools to be a really good shortstop for the Dodgers for the foreseeable future. Really built up a reputation in the minors that he just he can't get out. Hits the ball extremely well. Great eye in the batter's box. Good glove. Good, decent speed, actually. So I think this guy's going to be a, a decent player for the Dodgers. I know they have Corey Seager, Chris Taylor, Max Muncy, Justin Turner, kind of all in that second, short, and third base positions. So we'll have to see how he gets involved, but I definitely think this guy's got a future with the Dodgers. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see, career sims, franchise, whatever it is, let me know down below. Social media in the description down below, my Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Also, if you guys need tickets for any sort of events, check out SeatGeek, use the code AntOrtiz and get $20 off. That's it, guys. Let's go look at this player's attributes, and we'll talk about how these career sims go really quickly. All right, so the only thing I'm going to turn off are GM contracts. Really, everything else is going to be left the same. I am using a new roster. It's going to appear on screen at one point. The only thing I changed about this roster was I made sure everybody was in the right like single A, double A, triple A, MLB, the right place they were supposed to be rather than some some rosters put injured players in single A. So let's take a look at his stats really quickly because I know he's going to be in single or in triple A to start. And when you see this, it's going to be difficult to kind of get him involved because he's 72 overall. He does have a potential lefty bat. I do like that right hand thrower. He can play second base as well. But decent stats along, you know, across the board. Decent attributes for the hitting. Um, good vision and discipline already. Um, fielding is okay. I kind of see him more as a second baseman with those fielding stats. But, you know, it's not terrible. You know, with his reputation as like a really, really good hitter. I think those are good starting stats. They're going to go up. He's only 21 years old. He's got a potential. He should go up in rating pretty, pretty quickly. So we do have Chris Taylor ahead of us. Corey Seager ahead of us. Justin Turner. Max Muncy. Kika Hernandez. So the first season, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to let him sit in the minors. I know he just got called up here. But I think just letting him sit in the minors for this first season. Let him develop. Let's see if the Dodgers move any of these players here. And then we can get him involved in the team. What I am going to do though is jock peterson is the first baseman i guess we could do leave it there but i'm not I, like i said i don't want to mess with the lineup too much so for the first season he's going to be in triple a we'll take a look and see kind of where he develops to you guys already saw where he was already um i feel like calling him up early would only stunt his growth so let's not do that i'll see you guys at the end of the first season all right so obviously we're not here to talk about the dodgers successes in a sim style franchise but they went 109 53 we'll take a look to see if um he was called up or not he wasn't but let's take a look and see how he developed he's he went out five overall this year holy cow that's that's nuts he's already up to a 77 overall fielding has actually grown quite a bit as well um good vision good discipline increases and that contact versus righties went up so much Ooh, i think he's gonna be really good really really quickly so it all depends on how free agency goes. I have the CPU handling all that stuff. So we're going to have to see if they sign a new second baseman or shortstop or third baseman, whatever it is. But I definitely see Gavin Lux filling in on the bench or even in the starting lineup next season. So he's already up to a 77 after one year. Let's see what happens going forward. Alrighty, so this is year three. And this was the first year that Gavin Lux played in the majors, I believe. Let me double check. Yes. So this is 2021. So we had 19, 20, 20. Yeah, so season three that we've simmed through this. This is Gavin Lux's third season. Here's his career statistics so far in his first full year. Not terrible. Um, 20 home runs almost. 33 doubles. 66 RBIs. 266 average. Got caught stealing quite a bit. You guys can see he's up to an 83 overall. Um, he wasn't starting a lot of games. at uh, to like He wasn't in the lineup at the beginning of the year so he was actually an 80 at the beginning of the season and was down to a 74 because of morale so looking at his attributes a lot of defensive boosts which is good because then as long as he starts hitting the ball well those will go up those hitting attributes will go up and then he'll just develop really really quickly so overall i'm liking what i'm seeing 
um he's definitely getting some good boosts um that contact versus lefty is a good thing to have and you know first year stats not terrible at all it looks like he was kind of a, a leadoff guy at just one of the lineups and then kind of in the heart of the lineup towards the bottom let's see any league leading stats no maybe rookie of the year no who run who won rookie of the year this year rangel ravello had a pretty decent year actually how how did he win it over how did he win it over uh gavin lux that makes no sense come on we that's that's garbage all right let's see how he does in the postseason um see maybe he gets an award postseason award who knows all right well there's a world series for a season in the boat in the in the uh in the postseason any awards for him playoff mvp was will smith and Corey seager so no no postseason awards for him but he did hit 286, two home runs, nine RBIs. Not terrible at all. Let's see how he does for the rest of his career. All right, so we are only in season four. But I do want to kind of talk about a couple things. Because Gavin Lux is up to a 95. You guys can see his attributes here. They actually look really good at only 26. Um, you guys can see his, his stats are looking pretty good. Good contact, decent power versus righties. Vision and discipline is not terrible either. Good fielding stats. I did move him up to a second baseman, though, because the Dodgers just don't want him to play shortstop for them. They signed Trevor Story. They also had Paul DeYoung at one point. And I'm like, how are we How are we supposed to get Gavin Lux involved? So we moved him to a second baseman. If you move a guy to a second base position when he was a shortstop, it usually bumps up his rating at around four to six at like overalls like four to six overalls so he's probably like a, a 90 or a 89 as a shortstop but still pretty solid we'll take a look at his statistics for his career so far through four seasons you guys can see the powers going up the doubles and stuff are kind of the same around that 30 mark good amount of rbis this year the average did dip a little bit um but for the most part he's putting up decent numbers heading into season six Gavin Lux is a 99. On top of that, he got paid. Absolutely paid. 28 years old. You guys can kind of see his career statistics. Um, had a career year last year. Good amount of home runs. Decent RBIs. Struck out quite a bit. 34 doubles. He's he's kind of in that low 30s range for doubles every single time. But, I mean, look at those stats. Fielding-wise, he looks amazing. Hitting-wise, he still could go up, which is scary to think about. I think this guy is going to be a stud. As we head into season 10, I figured let's let's take a look and see how Gavin Lux is doing. You can see his stats at the age of 32 are pretty good. Good fielding across the board. Really good attributes for hitting. And look at his season last year at the age of 31. 334 average, 404 on base percentage, and a 1029 OPS. 45 home runs, 110 RBIs, and his lowest, lowest strikeout numbers along with 43 doubles. Like, it's insane to see that. So I went to see, because he didn't win um, MVP, and it was Carlos Correa. And I was like, okay, Carlos Correa, how did how did he beat out that year? And so I was kind of looking. I was like, okay, he's a 99, which is understandable. I mean, when you see his hitting stats, you're probably expecting something really good. 57 home runs, less doubles, about the same RBIs. I mean, besides the home runs, it really wasn't too different in terms of stats so i was kind of upset to see that gavin lux just missed out because of a, a couple home runs Alrighty, end of year 10 and uh it looks like he's having a little bit of a power surge still doing really well with the doubles average is going up ops and everything looks really really good you guys can see his stats here they're slowly start starting to decrease which kind of sucks um but that's just the way franchise works even though they're having some of the best seasons of their career they're still starting to fall off. So this is the first time the Dodgers have been in the playoffs for about six. Mm. Let's let's take a look. I think this is the first time they've been in the postseason since they made the World Series like four years in a row. So they haven't been to the postseason since like 2024. So like this is the first time it's happened. So let's see what happens. Um, let's just let's just sim it. We can always stop it. So they win there. They win there. And we'll, we'll stop it as we hit the World Series because this could be the last time that Gavin Lux makes the World Series. So I'm going to hop into a game and see how this plays out for him. 2-2. Two, two. 
three two and as we hit this we're gonna player lock it as gavin lux all right so we ended up losing two to five we hopped into the game nothing happened like it was rough it was a rough game offensively and we didn't really even get that many defensive plays so what we're gonna do game seven of the world series we're gonna hop in player lock as kc i lied not as kc mize as kevin lux i saw the name so it popped in my head Gavin Lux in the postseason's hitting 383 in the World Series. Not so well. I think he's hitting under 200. So we're in a in a tough spot. You guys can see the Minnesota Twins lineup. It's a lot of regen players. So a lot of draft picks and stuff like that. So we're going to see how this goes. Game 7 in Minnesota. Can Gavin Lux get another World Series title under his belt? That would be nutty. I think that would be his fourth in five appearances that would be insane to see so guy on first one out what's gonna happen all right so they pitched out first pitch not too sure why he's only got 55 speed and 44 stealing on first and double play oh what a rough way to start the game all right first defensive action of the day bottom first one out we're going to have to make a nice play. They're going to be pretty simple. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple. Grounder to second. Just toss it over to first. We're good to go. Alrighty, so we're down 2-1 to one in the fourth. This is actually kind of a bummer. A little early on the changeup. Alright, so we got to sit back a little bit. That changeup's a little slow there. 83 miles an hour. Okay. Gavin Lux gets a hold of that one. High fastball. Does he go deep? He does. Ties up the game. Top of the fourth inning. Ooh. What a way to tie up that game seven of the World Series. That is huge. High fastball. Sat on it. Just pulls it down the right field line. Solo shot for Gavin Lux. All right. After taking a pitch, it's 3-1 now. Are we going to see something in the zone? Can Gavin Lux give the Dodgers the lead? Oh, he got a hold of that one. That one looked like it was a pitch right down the middle. Is it going to carry enough? That is a two-run shot. His second of the day, Gavin Lux is feeling it. And he takes the lead for the Dodgers. Ooh, two for three with two home runs? Are you serious? Gavin Lux is feeling good. Alrighty, one two count. Kind of chased two pitches out of the zone. Ball in the dirt. Okay. Two two. Alrighty, so two two count for Lux. Stayed back on the changeup that hung. Three for four day for the Dodgers second baseman. He's feeling it. Alright, so Gavin Lux came around to score last time he got on with the single so we have a six to two lead can we turn a double play here that would be huge and it looks like we might toss it to second toss it over to first bang bang double play gavin lux i mean he's just not making any mistakes all righty one two count still got two outs here gavin lux did, did there's no way that's out no way all right there's a there's an out for Gavin Lux. A loud one though. Warning track power. Alrighty, here we go. Bottom eight, one out. Man, this game actually has quite a few highlights. So And it's looking like it's gonna be another routine play for Gavin Lux here at second base. Toss it over to first. Boom. No problem. And there we are. Los Angeles Dodgers bring home their fourth World Series title in Gavin Lux career that is insane four in five appearances gavin lux is insane right now so i think this is his i think this is his second because he wasn't part of the first two because he was in the minors but that's still insane i wonder if he actually did get the mvp but that's a gavin lux world series right there he had a crazy good game seven two home runs that's massive. So was he the player of the game? I would assume so. There's no way he shouldn't be. Yeah, two home runs, three RBIs, definitely. All right. So let's let's take a look. See who won the awards. 
Playoff MVP, Gavin Lux, and Josh Stowers won World Series MVP. But all right, there's a postseason MVP. I'll take it at the age of 32 for Gavin Lux. Having a little bit of a, a, like a growth in power, a pop, like a little bit of a power increase kind of late in his career. Gavin Lux is having himself a little bit of a career towards the end of it. So I like to see that. Let's see how the rest of his career plays out. All right, so you guys can see in the top left corner, 2043 so that's right we had to hop from the world series of 2030 to 2043 before gavin lux retired and let's take a look at his current attributes 43 overall 46 years old let's take a look at his statistics for his career he hasn't played in two three four five six seven eight eight seasons he hasn't played for eight seasons and he still was like oh yeah i'm not gonna retire i'm just gonna keep going so you guys can see he played three more or, or two more well, yeah three more years after the world series with the dodgers he hit 36 41 and 28 home runs still stuck around that 30 mark for doubles as well quite a few rbis good average he even went on to play two seasons after that with the cardinals and the orioles had still pretty good doubles home runs, RBIs, strikeout numbers were a little low, but good average on base percentage, OPS and stuff. So when you look at his career as a whole, 415 home runs, 1253 RBIs, a career average of 278 on base percentage of 355, slugging 494 and an 849 OPS, played about 15 seasons and had 2300 hits. Like that is crazy. Let's take a look at his war for his career a 67.6 so i mean pretty solid career and i would assume he would be a hall of famer after this yeah i mean those are numbers for a hall of fame career for sure technically was in the league for 23 seasons but only played 15 throughout the career i mean 179 steals isn't bad either 278 average and rbis home runs and hits are all there so really solid career for gavin lux obviously we had to move him to a second baseman but even if you need him to play shortstop, even third base, he would be a solid option. And it looks like he's got a great career ahead of him. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's career simulation with Gavin Lux. If you did, like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know further or future players you would like to see for career simulations. I'm probably going to start to do the more like... Um, the career simulation type videos where we play or lock someone in the world series if they make it towards the end of their career just so that we can kind of get an idea of like what their stats are looking like how they play in game and things like that but you guys can see gavin lux was like a 99 with like 80 plus in almost every single category for hitting fielding was like the same he was like 80 plus he had like 70 plus speed too so he was like an all-around really solid middle infielder so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did again hit the like button down below i'll catch you all in the next video peace